ever get that uh that shiver down your spine feeling like if you just took one wrong turn things could go really sideways yeah definitely today we're dealing with that kind of vibe diving into some disappearances from tennessee state university mm. these cases they're like stuck in time yeah you know and you know how you guys always ask for deep dives on missing persons yeah this is that times a thousand. Oh wow okay these are the ones that really get to you yeah these cases they're uh especially eerie because they're spread out over years but all on the same campus right you know young people just living their lives and then gone poof and it's it's important to remember we're not just talking about files on a desk you know these were real lives full of potential absolutely so first up 1986 Im imagine like the energy of a college campus right yeah that was alice may sullivan's world 20 years old business major already a mom just trying to make a life for herself she goes to class one morning never seen again and the timeline it's full of these these gaps, like chills down your spine gap. She's in class. Then she's at a friend's dorm room. Later, someone thinks they saw her near Gentry Center. Mm -hmm. And that's it. It's like the campus just swallowed her up. Okay, but here's the thing. It was Alice's parents who reported her missing. Oh, wow. Not her boyfriend. And this is despite him being the one who told them, supposedly, that Alice never came home. So right off the bat, something doesn't add up. Exactly. Makes you question everything. Right. And it gets, if you can believe it, even more unsettling. Police <sighs> suspected foul play. They even had persons of interest. But nothing ever came of it. No charges. So you're left thinking, what were they missing? What could have been the thing that cracked the whole thing open? Yeah, it's a question that's haunted her family for decades now. Yeah. Sadly, Alice's story isn't the only one. Just three years later, 1989, we meet Donald Johnson. Another TSU student, also 20 years old, vanishes. This time it's a young man and, you know, he was dealing with some things, financial struggles. He'd even been suspended from classes. You have to wonder, was that weighing on him? Was someone maybe taking advantage? And this is where it gets really eerie. Just like Alice, Donald was last seen on campus at Boyd Hall, a dorm. Mm. So we've got two disappearances, same campus, both last seen at TSU. Coincidence. Or is there something about that place? It really makes you wonder, doesn't it? Like, does the campus itself hold some kind of clue? Or, I mean, is it just the nature of college life? Their last known whereabouts are going to be tied to their routines, yeah, right? Exactly. Classes, dorms. For years, that question just kind of hung over the campus. And then almost a decade later, 1998, another student vanishes. Marcus Rutledge, 23, a senior. This case, this one always gets to me. They found Marcus's dog in his apartment, alone, but not just alone, shut in the bathroom, no food, just the toilet water to drink. I mean, come on, that just screams something is terribly wrong. And if that wasn't enough, his car turns up a month later. Abandoned on the other side of town. Was it moved? Was it there the whole time? Who left it there? And right. it's like every new detail just raises more questions. And it's just, it's heartbreaking, you know? These were young lives mm -hmm. and their families are left with nothing but questions. So you have to ask yourself, were these just awful, isolated tragedies? Or was there something darker going on, something connected to that campus? That's what makes it so unsettling, right? These weren't just names in a news report. These were real people, like you, like me, with hopes and dreams and people who love them. And, you know, their stories deserve to be told. Alice, Donald, Marcus. Exactly. And maybe, just maybe, by telling their stories, by keeping their memories alive, someone out there will remember something. Something they saw, something they heard, something that seems small at the time, but could be the missing piece, the thing that finally brings some answers. So after hearing all of this, what sticks with you? What would you investigate further if you had the chance? It makes you wonder, could one small detail, one little thing, be all it takes? Well, and I don't know if this makes you feel better or worse, but there's still a detective assigned to Alice's case. Uh -huh. Even after all these years, it's a reminder that these cases, they never really close. You know, no. hope, even when it's just a flicker, never truly dies out.